conditions, such as depression, anxiety, and eating disorders. See? So a lot of people here in Thailand, they don't understand the Buddhist creed. Um, they just go to the temple and pray for whatever it is. But you need to under if they understood mindfulness and a lot of things, what Buddha with what Buddha had represented back in the past two thousand five hundred years ago, this country would be a completely better place. It would be a much better place, and it would actually people would be so much more happier. Because remember, I told you a long time ago. As I look out this window, sun beaming right in my eyes, I love it. I see the Burmese. The Burmese come here. They work for only ten dollars a day, each of them, and they seem to be happier than most Thais I come in, in you know, encounter. How is that? Well, the thing is, I see a man, a gentleman, who's actually at the little templar where they have these little shrines uh, all over the place in terms of you know praying to Buddha or whatever. But what I see him do versus what I see Thai people do is completely different. Perhaps it's mindfulness. They're practicing the mindfulness. You see what I mean? So that's what you need to do. That's what I'm telling you. Knowledge means absolutely everything. I'm not talking about the knowledge that they teach you in these, the, these artificial schools. I'm talking about what's in the books, what has been written the last 2,000 years. Start buying some of these books. And if you have questions, recommend, you know, I'd be more than happy to recommend some books to you guys. Number three, plan your day with opportunities to be in the present. As you make your plans for the day, also schedule time to connect with an old friend. Go outside, leave the office early, take an exercise class or meditate. All of which will help you focus on the simple pleasures of life and what it has to offer now. Number four, edify others, meaning find others' gifts and talents and lift them up. When you edify others, you actually lift the entire room. It says, I see who you are now and I celebrate who you're being in this present moment. And I celebrate everything you had to do to overcome and create up until this moment. Edification never speaks to the future. It's about reaching back and celebrating someone's journey to their now. When you do that, you pour fuel into them. Plus, when you edify people, it breeds you into a sense of grace and ease in that moment. Live in the now while building your future. Don't keep talking about what you say you're going to do someday. You can't circle someday on the calendar. Someday I'll find that relationship. Someday I'll get hired for my dream job. Someday I'll start my own business. Someday I'll lose weight. Someday I'll be happy. Do what you need to do to enjoy now. Experiences, the experiences you want. Don't wait until the recession stops wherever you may be in the world. The mortgage is paid. The kids are out of school. Or you get a raise. Don't wait until you get a better job. Lose weight. Handle your personal relationship. Or wait till your life is perfect. There is no perfect time. It never will be. Right now, in this moment, you are smart enough, experienced enough, pretty enough, beautiful enough, and rich enough. Focus on the present and stop waiting. Book that cruise. Sign up for that class. Book that airline ticket. Do the research on that country. Call that contact. Move every option or move every other option off the table. Understand that it's in your imperfection that you are actually perfect for this journey. Give yourself permission to start today. With that being said, people, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Please stay tuned, especially with the blogs that are going to be coming up online. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know how to contact me, the Arsenio Buck Show wordpress.com or just put that in on google you can find me anywhere i hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful morning afternoon and evening give three people compliments today that's your goal if you're getting ready to sleep it's going to be even more difficult put yourself to the challenge send that message send that good night i hope you had a wonderful day and i hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow morning the person might think you're absolutely off your mind but edifying others means absolutely everything So, with that being said, people, this is your host, Arsenio, over and out.